play rumor Raider, bail back to Spurs, Mandzukic to Man United? 321, Steve Nichol delves into the latest summer transfer rumors with Gareth Bale, Mario Mandzukic and Christian Eriksen headlining. 321, 11 p.m. BSTTHE transfer window is open, and Transfer Talk has the latest rumors making the rounds. Follow live with our daily blog throughout the summer. Top story, West Ham to resist Arnatovic offers West Ham remain adamant that Marco Arnatovic is not for sale despite interest from Manchester United, says the Evening Standard. Reports emerged on Wednesday that United are plotting a £50 million move for the Hammers' record signing, whom Jose Mourinho managed during his spell at Inter Milan. Later that night Mourinho was spotted at Austria's friendly against Russia, fueling speculation that a bid for the 29-year-old forward is imminent. According to the standard, West Ham, consider Arnatovic off-limits, following a debut season that saw him claim 11 goals in the Premier League. Instead, the Hammers intend to strengthen their squad, with new manager Manuel Pellegrini set to be handed a £75 million transfer budget. Live blog 2300 British Summer Time, that's all from us today with Transfer Talk Live. Remember to check back in a few short hours as we pick up where we left off with the latest rumors, links and moves from around the world of football. Good night, 22.55 BST, Man United's continued pursuit of Real Madrid star Gareth Bale may have been handed a death blow on Thursday. Zinedine Zidane's resignation as manager may wind up going a long way in keeping Bale at the Bermabu long term, as the Welshman figures to have a clean slate to show a new boss he deserves to be a surefire starter. Zidane's trust in Bale dipped this season, as did Bale's playing time, but just last weekend the winger again proved his credentials with two goals, one of the sensational variety, in the Champions League final. Bale to Man United rumors will likely never stop but a new manager and fresh start will likely be enough to keep the Welsh superstar at the Bermabu at least for now. 22.42 BST, Rafa Benitez and Newcastle are considering some changes in defence. Rumours out of Belgium suggest that three Belgian clubs are willing to make Newcastle's Chancellor Mbemba the highest-paid defender in the country. If Newcastle do manage to sell Mbemba, Sassolo defender Gianmarco Ferrari is reportedly a target as a replacement. The 6 feet 2 inches defender spent last season on loan at Sampdoria and is also being rumoured with a move to Fulham, Monaco and Sevilla among others. Newcastle currently have Mbemba, Jamal Lassels, Kieran Clark and Florian Lejeune on the books at center back. 22.27 BST, Wofford have announced they are retaining defender Miguel Britos on a one-year contract. The Uruguayan has made 68 appearances for the Hornets since arriving from Napoli in the summer of 2015, Memo. Among the headlines, the Hornets have exercised the one-year option on Miguel Brito's contract. More here right arrow curving down https colon slash slash t dot co slash pigis blizzitygpic.twitter.com slash causig out Watford Football Club at Watford FC, May 31, 2018 22.04 BST, newly promoted Wolves are looking to be aggressive this summer and have zeroed in on a familiar face as a potential signing. Crystal Palace's Bakary Seiko, who plied his trade with Wolves between 2012 to 15 is 2 over 1 with Bet Victor to move back to the Molino. The Mali international experienced a bit of a renaissance last season, scoring 6 goals in 16 games last season before fracturing his ankle in February. Could the fan favorite be headed for a move back home? 21.45 BST, Jordi Alba is coming off of a terrific season but without a new contract on the table, the Spain international could be on the way out of the camp now. 
Alba, who scored three goals and produced 12 assists last season as a fullback, has told Sport he is intrigued by the allure of the Premier League. The fullback has stated he wants to finish his career in Catalonia but growing frustrated with his current contract situation, the Premier League is looking more and more like a legitimate option. Man United and Chelsea are the two Premier League clubs expected to battle for the driving fullback services. 0.21.26 BST, done deal, League One newcomers Coventry City have made a notable signing. The Sky Blues have signed former Crystal Palace and underage England Vunderk and Rice Alassani. Alassani arrives at Coventry after an impressive National League season with Dulwich Hamlet in which he scored 17 goals in 31 games and fired his side to promotion. Alassani, number 22, was once thought to be one of the brightest young talents in England before a serious knee injury put his career on pause. 21.04 BST, a hot name during last summer's transfer window, Leander Dendonker's name is popping up again with a move to one of Europe's big five leagues. Once linked with Man United, the 23-year-old midfielder is being tracked by West Ham and Crystal Palace but a new team has entered the fold. Belgian outlet Boat Bakran claim that Valencia has now entered the race to sign the Anderlecht talent. Dan Donker will be looking to add to his value this summer at the World Cup with trendy pick Belgium.20.40 BST, with West Brom having been relegated, James McLean is a player rumored to be on his way out of he club. The Republic of Ireland winner has been heavily linked with boyhood club Celtic for seemingly two years now but Stoke City have also been mentioned as a potential landing place. McLean played 30 times last season for WBA and New Stoke boss Gary Rowe had previously tried to sign the Dairyman when he was in charge of Derby County. 20.20 BST, Arsenal have agreed to terms with Juventus and Switzerland defender Stefan Lichtsteiner, according to Italian outlet Gazzetta dello Sport. Neither club have confirmed a deal yet but it sounds as if Arsenal are close to securing the 34-year-old fullback on a one-year contract. Stay tuned. 19.42 BST, Juventus are reportedly set to battle a pair of London clubs for two summer transfers. First, Chuto Mercata Web claim that Juve are now favorites over Tottenham to sign highly sought after Ajax defender Matthijs de Ligt. The 18 year old is one of the best young defenders in Europe and is being rated at around £35 million. The other potential Juventus signing to watch is Lorenzo Pellegrini from Roma. Arsenal have been the club heavily linked with the soon-to-be 22-year-old but now Calcio Mercado claim that Juventus are scheduled for talks with Pellegrini's agent and could be the club to activate his £22 million release clause. There sure seems to be a lot going on in Turin at the moment, 1911 British summertime, done deal, Scottish Championship side Dundee United have been busy and just announced one signing and are reportedly close to another. The club have announced that they have signed 20-year-old defender Sam Wardrop from Celtic on a two-year deal. Sam Wardrop joins on a two-year deal, you can watch his interview here https colon slash slash t dot co slash ivesips 24 spic dot twitter dot com slash meach 37 cnv, Dundee United FC, at Dundee United FC, May 31st 2018 the BBC are reporting that the Terrors have also signed 25-year-old winger Nathan Ralph from English National League side Woking. Dundee look to be making a push for promotion, having last played in Scotland's top flight back in 2015 16.18.47 BST, the other day we mentioned a report that claimed that Tottenham had already turned down two bids from AC Milan for Moussa Dembele. Now Dembele is being linked with the move to Milan's arch-rivals Inter, with Corriere della Sport.it claiming the Belgian has already said yes to the Nerazzeri. 
Intersporting director Piero Asilio is currently in London to negotiate a deal for the 30-year-old midfielder, who previously announced he would not consider signing a contract extension with Spurs until after the World Cup. 18.20 BST, another day, another player linked to Manchester United. German paper Bild alleged that Bayern Munich midfielder Thiago Alcantara has told the club he wants to leave in seek of a new challenge. Manchester United have been linked with the Spain international multiple times in recent years and figure to be one of the favourites to land the 27-year-old.17.57 BST, with Chelsea legend Frank Lampard taking over at Derby County, rumours have been swirling regarding potential transfer targets. One name that has popped up is Lampard's old Chelsea teammate, John Terry. The 37-year-old defender played last season at fellow championship side Aston Villa but is out of contract. Lampard and Terry link back up. Lampard seemed to brush that idea off, saying, there are conversations ongoing across the board, that isn't one of them. These conversations start now. John's had a great career but we'll concentrate on what we want to do here, Terry has said he is open to playing another season. 17.10 BST, Ivan Marcano has signed a three-year contract with Roma from Porto, with the option for a fourth. Marcano, who turns 31 next month, said on Thursday, he is very happy with the move because Roma is a great club that is moving in the right direction. Following a clear sporting project, Marcano has spent the past four seasons at Porto and helped it lift the Portuguese title last campaign. He started his career at Racing Santander before going on to play for Villarreal and Getafe in Spain. Marcano also played for Olympiacos in Greece and Russian side Ruben Kazan.17.00 BST, earlier this week, news broke that Robert Lewandowski has told Bayern Munich he wants to leave. The exodus does not stop with the number 9, though. Sportbitter reporting that Jerome Boateng, Arturo Vidal and Juan Burnett can leave if the right offer comes in. 16.55 BST, Zinedine Zidane to France. Current boss Didier Deschamps is not ruling it out, I do not have the keys to the French national team to give to him, he said. At some point he will be France boss. It seems logical to me. Portuguese newspaper de Diario de Noticias says that Carlo Ancelotti and Napoli, who were also thought to be chasing Patricio's signature, would rather sign Paris Saint-Germain's Alphonse Areola or Bear Leverkusen's Bernd Leno.15.35 BST, some interesting. News coming from Sky in Italy regarding Chelsea and their goalkeeper plans breaking, a Chelsea FC are likely to sell Thibaut Courtois and are considering entering the race for Roma talent Allison, according to Sky in Italy. Silva arrives at Goodison Park replacing Sam Allardyce, who departed at the end of the 2017-18 season. 14.05 BST, a non-starter, we reckon, Ken Bates back to Chelsea, Charles Watts at Charles underscore Watts, May 31, 2018 Ken Bates back to Chelsea, Charles Watts at Charles underscore Watts, May 31, 201,814.00 BST, sticking with Ebola, and... They believe Marco Silva will shortly be unveiled as Everton manager, and will support the club's pursuit of sporting midfielder William Carvalho. 13.30 BST, Portuguese outlet Ebola say that Manchester United target Diogo de Lot will have a medical at the club in the next few days. Porto fullback the lot looks set to become United's first summer signing. 13.00 BST, potentially good news West Ham fans. Sky Sports are reporting that the Hammers are targeting Lazio forward Felipe Anderson. Though one could speculate whether he would be seen as an Arnatovic replacement. 12.25 BST, Pro oh, West Ham fans, those Marco Arnatovic rumors to Manchester United just got cranked up a notch.
He was spotted at Austria's friendly against Croatia. It is possible he could have been taking another look at Inter's Ivan Perisic.12.15 BST, so it's official, Zinedine Zidane is leaving Real Madrid. I wanted to thank the fans who have always backed me, he said emotively. You can follow more of this on ESPN FC.1 1.50 BST, some big news from BBC Sport regarding Manchester City. Manchester City are hopeful of completing the double signing of Leicester winger Riyad Mahrez and Napoli midfielder Jorginho by the end of next week. Manchester City are hopeful of completing the double signing of Leicester winger Riyad Mahrez and Napoli midfielder Jorginho by the end of next week. Right finger https colon slash slash t dot co slash tour cup 5 fx pick dot twitter dot com slash next way 1 cp 5 bbc sport at bbc at BBC Sport May 31, 201,811.40 BST, Corriere dello Sport believe Daniel Levy has given the go-ahead for Moussa Dembele to leave Tottenham for 30 million euros, with an entourage from Inter traveling to London to negotiate further. These claims are now being backed up by the Telegraph, but with the price quoted at £20 million.11.20 1, 1 BST, the Standard are now also reporting that Gonzalo Higuain has been offered to Chelsea by Juventus in an attempt to sweeten a deal for Alvaro Morata.11.10 1, BST, Unai Emery wants to hand Aaron Ramsey a new contract, but Mesut Ozil's significant wage rise this year means negotiating could be a tough ask, report the Evening Standard. Manchester United and Barcelona have been linked with the midfielder.11.00 BST, Real Madrid have announced Zinedine Zidane will appear before the media at 12.00 BST, a new contract. Leaving, a statement on the futures of Cristiano Ronaldo and Gareth Bale 10.20 BST, Delaney's Denmark teammate Christian Eriksen is dominating the press in Spain. Sport, Mundo Deportivo and Marca have all been talking about a potential transfer from Tottenham to Real Madrid or Barcelona. When Barcelona-based Sport and Mundo Deportivo talked down a transfer as it would be impossible for Eriksen to leave Spurs, Marca stepped in and linked him to the European champions. That is when the Catalan press decided that this was now a war for the Dane. At least Mundo Deportivo have calmed down again and said that he will remain at Spurs. While sources told ESPN FC yesterday that Tottenham are confident Eriksen will sign a new deal at the club, an interesting saga is starting to brew. Steven Paston, PA Images via Getty Images 10.10 BST, over in Germany, Die Welt say. Thomas Delaney will join Dortmund from Werder Bremen on Friday in a deal worth 24 million euros.10.00 BST, remember when Arsenal made a 100 million euros bid for Monaco's Thomas Limar on deadline day last year before pulling out. Well, the French winger will now be allowed to leave the club this summer. Lake Heap report that the same clubs who wanted him last summer, the Gunners, Chelsea, Tottenham, Liverpool, Atletico Madrid and Juventus, are all still interested in securing his signature, 9.35 British summer time, despite winning promotion with Fulham. The Daily Mail report that Ryan Fredericks will move across London and join Via at rm 4 arabpictwittercom slash ntlovbbjxz, Celicao Brasileira, at Brazil Stead, May 29, 2018 Whoa, 2002 World Champion, former as Roma star. The 25-year-old is under contract until June 2022, but Monaco are willing to let him leave for the right price. United are also believed to be close to signing Porto right back Diogo de Lot, 8.40 British summertime. A league boss Greg O'Rourke has revealed that talks to bring Japanese star Keisuke Honda to Australia as a marquee players are still very much on. Honda is the one we really went after and we're still talking to his management. O'Rourke
We won't give up until he's actually gone and signed with a team elsewhere. 8.20 British Summer Time, France coach Didier Deschamps has advised forward Antoine Griezmann that it would be better for him to remain at Atletico Madrid this summer, rather than make his much-mooted move to Barcelona, according to RMC. Meanwhile, L'Equipe says Griezmann is prepared to wait until after the World Cup to decide where his future lies. According to Lakeep, his release clause will drop from 200 million euros to 100 million euros on July 1, 8 o'clock British summer time. Roma are close to signing Justin Kluivert from Ajax, according to Sky Sport Italia, who claim their sporting director Mancha met with the player's agent in Monaco, and must now only reach an agreement with the Dutch club over a 20 million euros valuation. On Wednesday, Kluivert, who has also been linked with Manchester United and Tottenham, would not rule out remaining at the club where both he and his father, Patrick, developed as youth players. There are exciting moments coming for me. Let's see what they're going to be, he said. In the end, it's my decision. I'm not 100% convinced yet. I have to think things through. To stay at Ajax is definitely an option. It certainly is, paper talk, Liverpool bid for Fakir, Liverpool have made an official offer for Nabil Fakir as they step up their interest in the Lion playmaker, says Le Parisian. According to the report, the Reds' opening bid is around the 60 million euros mark, which is believed to be short of Leon's demands. The League One club are in no rush to sell their captain, but it's thought Fakir and Liverpool would like the transfer to be wrapped up before France begin their World Cup campaign on June 16. Fakir has been tipped to play a key role for his country in Russia, having guided Lyon to Champions League qualification with 18 goals and 8 assists. And Klopp targets Silas and Jurgen Klopp may have found the solution to his goalkeeping quandary in the shape of Barcelona shotstopper Jasper Silasen, reports Mundo Deportivo. The 29-year-old is eager to leave the Spanish champions after starting only two La Liga matches in two years since his £11 million move from Ajax. The only sticking point is that Barcelona are reluctant to sell, with Liverpool potentially having to meet Silicon's €60 million Euros release clause. As Mundo Deportivo points out, the Dutchman's price tag is considerably less than Alisson's or Janoblik's, but it still seems steep for a backup keeper used only in cup competitions. Given current market rates for new no-ones, Loris Karius might be hopeful of being handed an unlikely reprieve. Steven Paston, PA Images via Getty Image Lewandowski's suitors narrow Chelsea remain on the trail of Robert Lewandowski despite waiting to resolve the managerial situation at Stamford Bridge, reports the Daily Mirror. The Blues hope to appoint Maurizio Sarri to replace Antonio Conte, with £80 million rated Lewandowski arriving to spearhead a title challenge next season. Meanwhile, Kicker magazine suggests Real Madrid's interest in Lewandowski has cooled because his agent Pini Zahavi could not persuade Neymar to join them instead of PSG. Zahavi said on Wednesday that Lewandowski wants to leave Bayern Munich, but while Manchester United and PSG remain interested, Kicker says that Chelsea are the only club to have made a firm offer for Lewandowski. All the while, Bayern continue to rule out selling Lewandowski, with Kicker saying, It's a matter of principle, tap-in Sergei Milinkovic Savic has told friends he will snub interest from Man United to join Juventus, claims Calcio Mercado. The Lazio midfielder has been linked with a £90 million move to Old Trafford, but now appears set to stay in Serie A. Arsenal are close to recruiting PSG Wunderkind Yassin ADLI, according to the Mirror. The 17-year-old is apparently unconvinced by the project at PSG and will sign a three-year deal with the Gunners to team up with Unai Emery again. Jorginho is just days away from confirming his move to Manchester City, claims La Gazzetta dello Sport.
The English champions will pay around 50 million euros for the midfielder, who La Gazzetta says was the irreplaceable brain of the Napoli side that ran Juventus close in the Serie A title race. Benjamin Hubner has turned down a move to Everton, says kicker, because he wants to play in the Champions League with Hoffenheim. The 28-year-old central defender has attracted interest from a host of Premier League clubs. RB Leipzig have agreed to terms with left-back Marcelo Saracci of River Plate, according to kicker. Leipzig have offered 11.5 million euros but River Plate are holding out for a fee of 13 million euros for the Uruguay under-20 international. Meanwhile, Leipzig have signed right-back Nordi Mukiel from Montpellier on a five-year deal for 16 million euros. To help make this website better, to improve and personalize your experience and for advertising purposes, are you happy to accept cookies and other technologies? More info here cookie choices.